Hi everyone, here is your data update for Phase 1B Week 5. As of February 18th, Chicago residents have received over 368,000 first and second doses of COVID-19 vaccine. Look at how vaccination in Chicago, the yellow bars, continues to coincide with low community cases, the blue bars, indicating a period of low community transmission. This is the ideal time to vaccinate to break up transmission chains. Unfortunately, the winter weather this past week had other ideas in store for us in Chicago, and we know how much you have had to endure in your practices to date. And at CDPH, we're equally frustrated with vaccine shipment delays. We will continue to keep you updated with health alerts and emails from our vaccine management unit throughout the winter, if and when, since this is Chicago, this happens again. For data reported through February 17th, we're so happy to see that FQHCs in light blue, outpatient providers in yellow, and pharmacies in pink are continuing to pick up the pace. Urgent cares in red, we're seeing you a little bit more this week, but we need to work on that HL7 connection. Certain providers will start receiving feedback this week from CDPH in the form of a COVID-19 vaccine report card. This will help you see the data that we're seeing and make sure that you're targeting Chicago residents in high-risk groups. Big news this week is that one in four Chicagoans 65 years and above and one in eight Chicagoans 18 years and above have received at least one dose of vaccine. As of February 17th, we even saw a 7.5% increase in the number of 70 to 79 year olds who were vaccinated. This shows we're making progress with a limited supply of vaccine. Imagine what we'll be able to do with more. We may see a slowdown as a result of the weather, but we want you to continue to maximize those doses in arms and not save doses for weather emergencies. Remember that a delay in second doses will not harm patients. So consider using second doses in weather emergencies if needed. And just tell us in the comment section of your next order form if you had to do this. When rescheduling patients, consider converting appointments to waiting list placements and extending weekend and evening hours so you don't get behind on getting doses in arms during periods of erratic supply. Because of our expected limited supply, we recommend these strong waiting list policies. Do not save doses for future weather events. Last week, we made significant improvements in vaccine equity, with over half of Chicagoans vaccinated that week being Black or Latinx. But if you look at this figure, we still have a lot of work to do to catch up on that first dose equity gap and reduce barriers to vaccination in Protect Chicago Plus communities. But last week was a very encouraging sign, and we thank you all for your efforts. Again, let's be intentional and transparent about vaccine equity and address issues of vaccine hesitancy head on with trusted voices and partnerships. Continue to report your race ethnicity data on every single patient, and we will start tracking this on your provider report card. Demographic information has been added to the Illinois Department of Public Health's website based on a new method of matching patients to vital records. This should help us give you better feedback on closing that equity gap. More information can be found on IDPH's website. Thanks for listening to the data update for Phase 1B Week 5, and see you next week.